SPIP is a software package dedicated for analyzing SPM data. SPIP is also a great tool for analyzing data from profilers and electron microscopes. In the following, we'll focus on some of the basic features interesting from an SPM user point of view. SPIP is a ribbon-based software. Data, that is images, force curves, profiles and so on, are displayed in individual window frames. At any time, the ribbon tabs available will adapt to the data type inside the window currently selected. This makes it easy to find the relevant tools. In this case, we see how the Image Tools group with the General, Analyze and Modify ribbon tabs appear when an image is selected. On the General tab, we have all the interactive and visual tools such as Zoom, cross-section, profiling, measure shapes, and color scale selection. On the Analyze tab, we have access to analysis functions such as roughness analysis, particle analysis, and so on. On the Modify tab, we have tools for manipulating the data, for example, plane correction and filtering. To speed up work, a group of the most frequently used modified tools has been placed on the General tab. This reduces the amount of switching between ribbon tabs significantly. When the Profile window is selected, another group of ribbon tabs appear with different tools. In this case, there are so few data manipulation functions that we have put them all on the General tab instead of making a dedicated Modify tab. When all windows are closed, only three generic tabs are left. When an image file is opened in SPIP, each channel is usually displayed in separate windows, side by side. When using the ImageMet Explorer browser, it is possible to select which channels to open. In this case, we just open the height and face channels. Images always appear with a color scale representing the Z values in the image. 20 built-in color scales are available in the gallery on the general ribbon tab. To make the selected one your preferred default color scale, simply push Set as Default. Next time you open an image, it will be displayed with this color scale. Open the color scale editor by clicking the color scale launch button. In the editor, you can modify the color scale and create new ones. After editing a color scale, save it. And next time you look at the ribbon, you will see that it has appeared in the gallery in the custom settings group. The contrast and brightness is adjusted by dragging the color contrast markers on the left side of the color scale inside the image window. As an alternative, a contrast brightness button is available in the ribbon. Sometimes we want to change the color scale for all open images. And this is easy. Simply enable the color scale synchronize option. You can now even adjust the contrast for all images at the same time. If you want to adjust contrast and brightness individually for each image, then disable the synchronize option again. The chosen color scales will stay. The color scale has four display modes. Open the view settings for a given window by right clicking and selecting the view settings item from the pop-up menu. In the View Settings panel, expand the Color Scale group. Here you can select whether the color scale should be displayed 
or not be displayed and you can select whether to have the labels displayed inside or outside the color scale or not at all. The inside mode is a default because it is the most compact mode still showing the z-axis labels. In view settings the visual appearance of elements inside windows such as fonts and line widths can be customized. But there are also other things which can be controlled from view settings. For example, the way the axis labels are displayed. If they should reflect the offset of the scanner, or should have their origin clamped to either the center of the image or the lower left corner of the image. Like with the color scale, you can make the current view settings your default. Just push the Save button in the toolbar and click Set as Default. Select Save Settings to preserve a combination of view settings for later use, for example for a paper, a poster or a PowerPoint presentation. Click the Open button to reopen saved settings at a later time or to reopen the factory defaults. SPIP has a number of great inspection tools. One is Zoom and Pan. Scroll the mouse wheel and SPIP will zoom the currently selected data window. In image windows a small navigation insert is displayed. Panning is performed by holding down the control button on the keyboard while dragging the mouse inside the window or by dragging the small rectangle in the navigation insert. There is also a dedicated pan mode selectable from the ribbon or from the right click menu. In curved windows, hold down the shift key while scrolling the mouse wheel and the window will zoom in the vertical direction. If both the shift and the control keys are pressed, zooming is performed in both the horizontal and the vertical direction. The zooming can be reset by hitting the home button on the keyboard or by clicking the zoom to 100% button in the ribbon. Enable the synchronize zoom checkbox in order to zoom and pan simultaneously across multiple channels. Thank you for your attention.